how do you think about this kind of repricing the world in terms of Bitcoin and you know how ahead of the curve do you have to be? And because there's a lot to think about when you've you know especially people who think about their families, their businesses, as mm-hmm. it starts to really radically change, it's mm-hmm. it's going to be a problem for some people. It's going to be a, definitely a problem for some people. Um, I've I've said many a times uh, that I think today where the price is at, like one percent protects your net worth. It doesn't protect necessarily your uh, capacity to earn, but whatever you have earned, going back to the Michael Saylor treasury, right? Um, for a five hundred million dollar uh, treasury, he only needs five or five yeah five hundred million dollar treasury. He only needed five million dollars worth of Bitcoin to protect that treasury. Huh. Um, it, it, I think at today's price, and that, I mean these numbers could be off, but like I I think as a ballpark, that's kind of where we're at. What's going to be really hard for people, especially people that are naysayers and think that this is just all like hocus pocus money, is once the price gets to about 500000 now you need about a 10% position size to protect yourself from Bitcoin taking over, right? Um, so that that person that's that's been very hesitant and saying, this is just, this is such a Ponzi, now they're having to not take a 1% position. They're, they're going to have to take a 